So first and foremost, I know I look crazy. I know I look like I'm on some sort of narcotic. I, I get it, but a bitch don't like her hair. So I'm gonna get that done tomorrow. And I'm growing out my eyebrows. Look, look at that. I'm growing out my eyebrows because my wedding is in a few months and I need my eyebrows to look fleeky. And honestly, my eyebrow lady who I trust with all my heart, she wasn't there the day I did my eyebrows recently. So I decided to trust this other bitch. She didn't know what she was doing. She's obviously new to the place and she messed up my eyebrows big time. One of them is like mad thick and the other one, look, you see the difference? Like that's a mess. So now I gotta wait a couple of months until this grows out here, which it's, it's growing in really fast actually because I've been putting all my secret ingredients on it. So <laughs> I'm kind of happy, but I have to wait till these grow out so that I can have the perfect shape for my wedding day. So please excuse me for the rest of these videos for a couple of months. I'm gonna try my best when I put makeup on to make the eyebrows work some way, somehow. I might have to get a wig with bangs to cover up my eyebrows. I don't know, I'ma figure it out. But for now, please excuse my parents. I already know what I look like. I'm sorry, I apologize. Please forgive me. I got this damn bonnet on looking like the grandma from uh, Little Red Riding Hood. Like the damn wolf ready to gobble my ass up. I'm sorry, y'all, I look crazy. I can't find a hat or something. Let me go find a hat, cause this is not, like why would I ever? So boom, <laughs> all right. Now I look like 2000 and 15 Paris. Y'all remember when I used to rock this hat in my video? Shoot, I haven't seen this at, this at, this at, this hat in ages. A lot of people make fun of the way I talk, you know. I realized from the last video that I uploaded, I said doll skill, and people ask me if I said doll skill. I'm saying doll skill, like, it, doll sk Anyways, I'm saying doll skill. Dolls kill. And people are like, is she saying doll skill? And it's like, no, bitch. I just, I just adapted the way my mother talks and my mother has a very strong Jamaican accent and then she tries to speak proper English and then it just comes out sounding like how I sound. I'm sorry, I call it, I don't know what I, I don't know what y'all want me to do. It's like the first three minutes of the damn video and I'm here rambling and rants and I need to cut that down, edit it down because I'm talking way too damn much. I'm sorry. All right. What's up guys, it's your girl Hey Paris here. I'm acting like none of that just happened. What's up guys, it's your girl Hey Paris here and today we are doing the assumptions tag. If you guys don't know what that is, basically I went on my Instagram and I asked you guys to tell me some things that you assumed about me and my character. Although you don't know me personally, like what did you just assume about Hey Paris as a person, okay? And I got a lot of responses and honestly, my subscribers are too nice. Like you guys are too nice. I thought I was gonna get dragged through the dust. I thought y'all was gonna assume some crazy ass shit about me, but a lot of you guys know who I truly am as a person, which is crazy, because I've only met like a handful of you guys, but the fact that a lot of you guys assume stuff that is correct about me and wasn't like mean or y'all weren't dragging me, I was like, yo, my subscribers are that, okay? It honestly made me so happy. I was smiling reading all your questions. Some of them were drag worthy and the ones that I thought were interesting and you guys would want to know the answers to are the ones that I picked, okay? So I picked a couple of questions that I thought you guys would be interested in hearing their assumptions to and my answers to and let's just get straight into it, okay? I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. Um, no beating around the bush, like just straight, raw, real answers, okay? Y'all are going to know a lot more about me after this video. Let's get it just started. So the first assumption, someone said, I, I always assume that you were rich. Listen, I know a lot of you guys assume I'm rich. A lot of you guys assume I'm rich, okay? I live in a dinky ass, small ass, overpriced, condo but for the the space that we have and the things that i own i'm not rich i'm just just straight period i'm not rich i'm not wealthy i'm not even i don't think i'm anywhere close to rich um i have goals of where i want to be and what i want my bank account to say i'm not close to that i'm not I think for the last four years, my main priority was to fix my credit, which I've done. Um, I'm at my credit score goal. I'm happy, which means I'm able to get things that I want. But that doesn't necessarily mean I'm rich. I'm not rich. I don't look at my look at. I live in this condo. Look at the condo. Look at look at my damn look at my damn dining room chair. It's it's three chairs 
and a circle. Nobody even can eat there, like it's just for show. Bitch, I'm not rich, I'm not rich. I don't own a home. Um, I don't have millions of dollars in my bank account. If I want something, I can get it, but my motto is, um, and I don't remember who said that, I think it was Jay-Z, my motto is I don't buy anything that I am not able to buy twice. So if I see a purse that I want that is like, for instance, a thousand dollars, and I know I couldn't afford to buy two of those purses, which would add up to two thousand dollars, I'm not gonna get the purse. I'm on a saving binge right now, which means I haven't bought anything for myself and for my own pleasure in like the last four months. I wanna be rich, I wanna be wealthy, that is my goal, but I am not there yet at all. So when people message me and ask me to uh, pay for their college, tuition i'm just like what or when people message me and ask me to buy them a car i'm like hold on where are you guys getting this from and i feel like a lot of people get this idea from seeing me with like um designer bags or designer shoes or whatever the case may be and i understand listen this is the thing let me break it down to you guys really quickly okay this is why you cannot look at other people on the internet and assume that their life is better than yours okay you cannot look at people on the internet and assume that they are rich that they are wealthy that they are happy you can't assume any of that and i never do i don't care if somebody post a picture of them in a Lamborghini with 50 boxes of Gucci shoes. I, I'm not assuming you're rich, okay? Because it's so easy for someone to go and buy a Gucci box by itself and rent a Lamborghini for a thousand dollars and there's other people who's looking at that picture and like, whoa, they must be rich and they're, they're living in a inky dinky apartment. Like, you don't know. All the designer things that I own, I have never bought with my own money, okay? Are you listening? I lied, I have one purse that I saved up for to buy for myself, but that's the only designer item that I ever purchased for myself. All my designer shoes, my designer purses, my designer whatever are always gifts, okay? So whenever someone asks me, what do I want for my birthday? What do I want for Christmas? What do I want for my anniversary? My answer is always something that I've always wanted. So if it's Gucci shoes, I'm like, I want these Gucci shoes and the next time I want a gift, I'm gonna tell my dad, hey dad, I want these Gucci shoes. And most likely, most of the time, 90% of the time, I get it as a gift, but I don't buy it which means I don't have the money to buy it. I get them as gifts, they're gifts, okay? And I remember a few months back, there was one person who kept making a fake account over and over and over again to tell me that I'm a show off and I'm, I'm flaunting my wealth and um, all you do is post your designer stuff and you're, this person is saying all this and I'm literally behind my, my, my phone screen laughing like, you think I'm rich. You dead ass think I'm rich. I'm not rich. I'm not close to rich. I'm so average, it's not even funny. So when people say stuff like that, when people leave comments like, all you do is show your designer stuff. I'm like, yeah, it was a gift. I want the person who gave me the gift to see that I'm using the shoes they got me or the bag they got me or the sunglasses they got me. Like, I want them to know that I appreciate it. Yes, I'm gonna post it. And even if I pay for it with my, my own money, it's my Instagram, and yes, I'm gonna post it. What's the, what's the issue? What is going on in your life that me posting my designer shit is getting under your skin? What's going on in your life? Talk about it, speak on it, please. But yeah guys, I'm, I, I'm a rambler. That was a seven minute rant. I'm so sorry, I'm gonna have to edit that down again. But the answer to that question, am I rich? No, I'm not rich, I'm not wealthy, not close to it, but that is my goal, okay? I mean, I'm not poor and I'm not struggling I'm financially stable, but I'm not rich. That is the actual concluded answer. Okay, next assumption. I always assume that you were stuck up. Now, I read this and I was confused because I'm not even quite sure what stuck up means. So I'm gonna search it, stuck up definition. Um, staying aloof from others because one thinks one is superior. No, <laughs> that's the first thing from the truth. Okay, that's what I thought it would be. Um, I feel like I've talked in my video so much about how opposite of stuck up I am. I don't even know why someone would assume I'm stuck up. I, I guess it's because of the way I speak in my videos, I'm assuming. 
but I've always said in a lot of my videos I don't feel like I'm above anyone um I feel like all of us are the same I don't care if you're Kim Kardashian I don't care if you're hey Paris I don't care if you are Georgia who's begging for change over down by the convenience store I don't care if you're the convenience store manager we are all the same we're all on the same level God made us all equal nobody's better than anyone I'm not better than no one and I'm not below anyone and you're not below anyone and you're not above anyone I don't care who you are you could be the president of the United States he definitely he definitely not superior over me or you bitch but that's a whole another situation <laughs> but no to answer your question I I'm I'm not stuck up. No one in my real life has ever told me that I'm stuck up. I treat everyone the exact same. Like I've seen celebrities face to face like this close to me. And although I'm like, I love your work. I love your music. Oh my gosh, you're right here. I'm not thinking in my head. They're so much better than me. Oh my gosh, I wish I was them. No, I don't wish I was anyone. I love me. I love my life. And I truly believe that everyone on earth is here for a purpose. And that purpose is no less or no higher than anyone else's. We are all equal. We should all view each other as equal. And I feel like because I'm on YouTube, people assume that all YouTubers are stuck up. I don't know. I can't speak for other people, but I know for myself, I don't, I definitely don't view myself above any of you guys. I think that everyone deserves love, happiness, and respect. I don't care who you are, what you look like, your skin tone, your race, your sexuality. I, I don't give a damn. Your job, occupation, I don't care. We all deserve those three things. Happiness, respect, and love. Everybody. Everyone. Next assumption. And by the way, I'm not reading these word for word. I'm just like, if someone said, hey Paris, I love you. My assumption was, I'm not reading the hey Paris, I love you. I responded to them and now I'm just reading what the assumption is. For those of you who are like, was that my question? It probably was because I'm not reading the entire question, just the assumption. I hope that made sense. Okay, the next assumption is, I always assumed you're not close with your dad. Okay, so this is an assumption that like I would expect because I don't talk about my dad much on my channel. I don't say any stories about him because there ain't no stories to tell about him. I said that in a video before, um, but I am close with my dad. I see my dad often. I talk to my dad often. I have an amazing relationship with my dad. I love my dad. I love my father. I still call him daddy. Um, it's my father. It's my dad. And I understand why you guys would assume that because I don't talk about him much on my channel at all. And that's because he it ain't nothing to talk about. This is, he ain't never did nothing to make me like he never beat my ass my mama was the strict one he was the more calm reserved one you know what i mean there's nothing exciting or funny or interesting that he's ever done that i could turn into a story time to tell you guys about um so there's not a lot of stories that are interesting for me to tell you that involve my father it's just that simple but yes i am close with my dad um i speak to him every day we see each other we talk like it's a regular father-daughter relationship and he's paying for my wedding <laughs> My dad spoils me. He he spoils me anything I want. I get it. I ain't gotta ask him twice. If I ever went homeless, I would be fine. I would be good. I'm completely a spoiled brat when it comes to my dad. My dad will do anything for me, get anything for me, buy anything for me. I'm good. You feel me? But I also don't want to take advantage of people, so that's why I work for myself and I work hard and I get my own shit because I don't want to have to ask my dad for everything all the time. You know what I mean? Okay, next assumption. I always assumed you didn't want kids. Okay, so another assumption I thought that you guys would assume because my Twitter name used to be Ain't No Mommy, okay? <laughs> and I don't know where I got that from. I don't know what that was about, but it was funny as hell to me. So that's why that was my Twitter name. When that was my Twitter name, it's not that I didn't want kids. I just didn't want kids yet. And everyone that I knew had kids. And I feel like that's why my name was Ain't No Mommy because everyone I know has a child. And I was like, I'm the only one without a kid. I ain't no mommy, you know what I mean? But I always wanted kids. I always wanted to be a mother. I'm excited to start a family with Cameron. Like, I think it would be the most amazing... Ah! Like, I had to scream. That's stupid. That's dumb. That's stupid. But, and I'm not pregnant by the way because y'all will see me screaming and be like, she must be pregnant. No, bitch. The coochie bleeding. It's bleeding, okay? So, I just 
always wanted to be a mom. I think I'm going to be an amazing mother. I think Cameron's going to be an amazing dad. I want kids. I really, 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 really want kids bad. And I can't wait for the day when I take a piss on a stick and that mom says pregnant, okay? Bitch, I might just jump out the window and kill us both because I'm going to be that excited. And by the way, a lot of people always ask me, when are you going to get pregnant? Um, Are you pregnant? whatever whatever when i'm pregnant like literally the moment that i piss on a stick and it says i'm pregnant the moment that i even ever take a pregnancy test i will be recording it i promise you the moment i go to the store and buy a pregnancy test because i miss my period or whatever the case may be i will have the camera on so you guys don't have to wonder you guys don't have to wait i'm gonna let you guys know like as soon as it happens so you don't have to ask me if i'm pregnant when i'm getting pregnant none of that you guys will know as soon as it happens so don't stress yourself i'm not gonna keep you guys out the loop you guys are a part of my life forever and always okay it might be on my vlogging channel but i'll definitely let you guys know here so you can go over there and check it out if you don't want to subscribe over there but you know if you're not subscribed over there and you want to see my vlogs or whatever like you go over there youtube.com slash paris cam like it's gonna be in the description box down below go subscribe okay next assumption shit bitch the sun going down and everything i need to hurry up i assume that you were pregnant when you got engaged i know you know what's funny I don't know what's up with this generation, but I had a few of my friends who said, oh my gosh, Cam proposed to you, are you pregnant? Like, that's not something you say to someone when they get engaged. What about just congratulations? But I feel like this generation feels as though men only get engaged to women when they get pregnant. Not my situation, not a lot of people's situation. If it is your situation, there's nothing wrong with that. But all I'm saying is the people who go out of their way to be like, are you pregnant because he proposed to you? Like, that's so rude. Like, that just makes you feel like you've never experienced genuine love. And I'm, so, I'm even talking about the people in my real life who said, oh my gosh, Paris, are you, you, you got engaged? Are you pregnant? Like, you're rude, don't say that. My nigga just loves me and wants to spend the rest of his life with me. Like, that doesn't mean I have to be carrying his baby or pregnant at all. And I remember when I announced my engagement, there were a couple of people in the comment section like, give it two weeks, she's gonna come on camera and say she's pregnant. I might be fat, but bitch where? I is not pregnant. You see this? A little, a little, a little tummy fat, but ain't nothing in there. Okay, oh, that hurt. That ain't nothing in there, okay? I always said, and I have it on camera, I always said, I want to be a wife before I'm anyone's baby mother, okay? And let me just stress this for you guys. There is nothing wrong with having a child outside of a marriage. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not judging you. There's nothing wrong with having a child and the father not being there. Nothing wrong with that. You're so strong and I commend you for stepping up and taking responsibility. This was my own goal from when I was small, from when I was a child. I just always wanted to be a wife first. And once Cameron proposed to me, I was like, we can like finally start planning to have a family. There are some more things that I want in life before I decide I wanna be a mother. Like I want a house. I want to be extremely financially stable. Like there's just a list of things that I need to accomplish before I become a mother. And I'm checking off things as days go by, but I just want everything to be planned perfectly. I don't want to be struggling or not be ready i want to i think me and cameron have reached the point in our relationship where we can see each other as parents and as a married couple with a family so that's already checked off the list but this was just my goal this is just what i wanted and everything is falling into place and i'm so blessed and grateful for that but if someone says they got engaged bitch don't be like is you pregnant like, that says more about you than it does about them. Stop it. That's not nice. It's rude. And like I said, I remember them saying in the comment section, give it two weeks and Paris is going to come on here and say she's pregnant. Bitch, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not pregnant. No way. It's been, it's been almost a year and this baby still ain't come out. I'm going to have a whole one-year-old baby in my uterus. Is that what you're telling me? And then someone else commented and said, all YouTubers get engaged and then two weeks later they're they're pregnant. And I'm like, what YouTubers are you talking? I've never seen a, maybe it's true, but I've never seen a YouTuber announce their pregnancy, and, I mean, announce their engagement, and then, yeah, the blue, yeah, that one. How are you going? I'm recording. So you want me to come now or no? If you could chill for like 15 minutes, that'd be great.
Okay, bye. I mean, there might be YouTubers out there who have done that. I personally have never seen that before. And if someone you watch had that happen to them, you don't even know the full story. You only know what they tell you. And on top of that, to categorize all YouTube females as once they get engaged, you're pregnant is so stupid. You have to remember that everything that you see on the internet is only as much as that YouTuber or I tell you. So don't think you know the whole story if your favorite YouTuber got engaged and then got pregnant or got pregnant and then got engaged. You don't know, you don't know, you don't know what the story is. And I don't judge anyone who's in any type of circumstance. As long as you're pregnant and you have a healthy pregnancy and a healthy baby, that's the only thing that matters. God bless you. Cause there's some women out there that cannot have children. Like who cares what the circumstances are? It's like people were trying to make me feel bad for getting engaged by assuming I was pregnant and I wasn't pregnant, so it's like, now what? Now what is there to talk about? Cause Paris isn't pregnant, it's been almost a year, and she ain't showing. Uh, it, uh, next assumption, I'm done, I'm off this topic. I always assumed you have a lot of friends. Um, that's funny. I'm gonna tell you right now, I could count the friends that I really, really mess with on one hand, right now. Tiana, Janessa, Odain, Siobhan, is there anyone else I'm missing? Amanda. Bitch, that's it. I got five friends who are like my main squeezes, okay? Other than these five, if you're not these five people, honestly, I could care less about what you feel about me, what you think about me. I'm talking about people in my real life. I could give a damn. I don't care. But if any of these five people tell me something about myself, like my feelings will get hurt. These are the five people that I dead ass like I mess with them heavy. The rest of the people in my life, like you're you're considered an, an, an acquaintance. I'm sorry. If you're not Odain, Siobhan, Tiana, Amanda, or Janessa, you an acquaintance, straight like that. I'm so sorry about it. I'm so sorry. I feel like I'm missing someone. If I'm missing someone, I'm so sorry. I feel like I'm missing someone. Anyways, next subject before I get myself in trouble. <laughs> I always assumed you were close with your family. I am very close to my family. I love my mommy, I love my grandma, I love my daddy, I love my brother, I love everyone. I even love Cameron's family, his mom, his dad. I love, I love everyone who's family, 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 and family. Family and family, you get what I mean? I love them all, I love everyone. I love them, I love my family. I would die for my family. Like I would literally take a knife, cut my throat, like like Momo instructed me to do it. Like if my, if my family's life was on the line, dead me, kill me, it's, it's okay, I'm fine. I'll meet y'all in heaven with God. I always assume you had a lot of boyfriends. I don't, I guess it's because of the story times you guys assumed I had a lot of boyfriends, but dating people and making them your boyfriend are two completely different situations. Dating someone, when I say I'm dating someone, I mean like I've gone out to dinner with them, I've gone to the movies with them, um, we've hung out, that doesn't mean I don't, that doesn't mean I considered you a boyfriend. So I've dated guys, I would say from the age of 16 to the age of 18 I dated I dated a few guys but dating like I said I could I could have been dating you because I wanted a meal because I was hungry bitch there was nothing in the fridge bitch I could have been dating you because I wanted to watch that movie bitch I was just I was just ready to watch the movie ho I could have been dating you because I'm bored like what you doing you want to sit down in the car and just talk yeah you know what I'm saying but dating does not mean that they were my boyfriend it doesn't mean that we've done anything it doesn't mean I even kissed you I could have just went to the bread lobster with your ass one day and you drop me home and that's it. That's what dating is to me. Boyfriends, on the other hand, boyfriends. I haven't had a lot of boyfriends at all. And then serious relationships, I've had one serious relationship before Cameron. The rest of my boyfriends, what, two months of dating? Two months of being my boyfriend? Like, no, it ain't nothing. I had one serious, serious relationship before Cam. So no, I haven't had a lot of boyfriends. No, I have not, okay? That sounds so horrible, but I know me. I know what I do, so I'm not offended. It's okay, it's all good, it's all good. I always assumed you were a virgin waiting until marriage. Next assumption, I assume you can fight when you want to. Bitch, I didn't know I could fight until I had to, okay? Let a hoe run up on me, please. I always told you guys, I'll tell you guys that story time of how I dragged a bitch in the club. I dragged that bitch. I dragged her and I was so like, say a word, like I could beat your asses. Like all you motherfuckers wanna be talking all that shit, I could beat all of your asses, say a word. So the answer is, I don't like to fight, I don't condone fighting. I feel like if you're a pretty girl, you're a pretty bitch, fighting don't look good on you. 
Only ugly hoes fight for no reason. You should only fight when you need to fight, okay? Ugly hoes are the ones who are always fighting no matter what. Someone looks at them wrong, they want to fight them. Somebody accident accidentally brushes their shoulder, they want to fight them. You ugly. Why you want to fight for? Because you want attention because you're not getting attention from any other type of situation. That's, that's my conclusion. If you're a pretty classy, put together bitch, you should only be fighting when you need to fight, not because you wanna fight. And you shouldn't wanna fight because you a bad bitch and bad bitches don't wanna ruin their nails and their hair to fight a bitch that's irrelevant, right? Am I right or am I wrong? You right. Cool, so you should only be fighting. If you a pretty bitch and you know you hot and you know you somebody, then you should only be fighting when you need to fight. When someone talks about your family, when somebody wants to step up and fight you because you should always defend yourself. If somebody comes after your kids, those are the only times you should be fighting. Other than that, let it go. Because you pay for these sets and the bitch you're fighting is not gonna pay for you to fix them. She ain't not gonna pay for the, for the new tracks. You gotta pick your battles wisely. Let me tell you right now. But if you wanna try me and you wanna come up to me and be the aggressor, I'ma aggress right back, bitch. What you talking about? Look at me acting like a gangster hoe after one fight. Let a bitch come up to me and beat my ass. See y'all quick, I, I shut up. I just, I ain't got nothing to say, hoe. Next assumption. But no, I, I dragged that bitch, y'all. I dragged that hoe. Like, she got up, she was seeing stars and shit. I was like, yeah, bitch, try me again. I didn't know I had hands like that. I didn't know I had hands like that, for real. Not to mention, I didn't get a scratch on my body nowhere. My hair was still looking fleeky. She was looking a mess, like... <laughs> okay? Next assumption. I always assumed your titties were fake. My titties are real. I don't think I can elaborate on that. I didn't pay for my titties. I didn't pay for nothing. I never had plastic surgery in my life. I don't think I ever would because I'm a, I'm a scared, not afraid. I'm a scared of knives and surgeries. So, no. My titties real. They real. They real. Next assumption. I always assumed you can cook. I can not cook. I'm a master chef. What you mean? Y'all ain't watching them cooking with Paris videos? Y'all ain't trying the recipes out. Cause if you try the recipes out, it's done. It's good. Your man is now your husband, okay? Like my recipes will have a, a nigga wife in a bitch. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? I always assumed you're too nice and get taken advantage of. I could understand why some people would assume that because I tell you guys situations where I get taken advantage of, but I don't think I'm too nice. Um, and I feel like when I get taken advantage of, it's not really taken advantage of, it's more like someone is tricking me into thinking there's someone that they're not. But I don't think I'm too nice. I feel like I'm a nice person in general, but if you say something stupid or you do something dumb, I'm not gonna be nice to you. There's no, they're like, there's no reason for me to be nice. I'm just, I don't see the point of being nice if you say something stupid or act stupid or any of that. And honestly, I've learned from all my mistakes. When something happens where I'm taken advantage of, it's never gonna happen again. Like, you, that's, that's how life works. You do things, something happens, you learn from it, you grow from it. So anything I've ever told you guys where you thought I was being taken advantage of, it never happened again, it's never going to happen again. Like, I'm not dumb. I, I'm not gonna allow the same thing to continue to happen to me over and over again. It's just not gonna happen. No, okay, yeah, so no. I'm a nice person, but I'm not too nice. And the people who take advantage of me or, or think they could take advantage of me, they can't. I've grown, I've learned, it's done, okay? I assume your life and relationship are perfect. No, nobody's life is perfect. Nobody's relationships are perfect. You guys should honestly not look at people on the internet, on Instagram, on YouTube, on whatever, and assume that they're just happy all the time. Assume that their relationship is perfect. Assume that like nothing goes wrong with them. My life is not perfect. My life is not close to being perfect. I was crying the whole day yesterday because of something, like the entire day. I was supposed to record this video yesterday. I had to record it today because literally from I woke up until I went to sleep, I was crying. My life is not perfect, not close to being perfect. And I don't want you guys to think that either because when you guys think that my life is perfect, you think that that's attainable and it's not. Having a perfect life you, no one has a perfect life. Oprah Winfrey, with all the money she has, it does not have a perfect life. No one in this world has a perfect life. So don't compare your life to other people that you don't know. And don't compare your life to people who you do know because you don't know what their life is behind closed doors. And I think that's the biggest um, destroyer of young people is seeing other people on social media with 
money or with cars or with clothes and thinking wow i wish i had their life they must have an amazing life they must always be happy there's no way they're depressed there's no way they have anxiety there's no way they feel the way that i feel sometimes that's not true taking a picture is so easy i could literally look at this i have this louis vuitton box here okay i could literally go on instagram right now and take a picture of this box and say spoiling hashtag spoiling myself bitch let me open this box for you let me open this box and show you guys what's inside cards there's cards inside but y'all wouldn't know that because you guys just automatically believe that there's something in that box that is louis vuitton you get what i'm saying it's so easy to manipulate and trick people over the internet and I don't allow myself to look at anyone and be like, their life must be amazing. They seem like they have everything together. It's just not true. And you're only gonna push yourself into deeper depression or deeper sadness and you're just gonna be upset and feel like your life isn't worth other people's lives and what they go you're just gonna you're just gonna be upset and i don't want you guys to be upset i don't want you guys to compare yourself to anyone else be happy with who you are what you have be happy that you're breathing that's it as long as you're <laughs> you're blessed you're blessed okay too blessed to be stressed okay baby girl my life isn't perfect i'm here to tell you right now it's not close not even not it's not even 50 percent close to being perfect okay and guess what that's okay it's okay it's all right next assumption i always assume that you have thick skin okay so starting youtube i didn't have thick skin at all like every little rude comment i would get i would like feel so sad i would be like oh my gosh why does this person hate me i didn't even do anything to them they don't even know me like they don't know who i really am like i'd be so sad but honestly after these years go by someone could call me an ugly buck tooth bitch and I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna look at my screen like this and keep scrolling and I ain't gonna delete it, I don't even care. Cause at the end of the day, the people who respect me and support me when they see that comment, they're like, that person's a hater and that's just, that's just what it is, they're a hater. What am I gonna do about you not liking me? There's nothing I can do, you don't like me and you have every right to not like me. I, what do you want me to do about that? You left the comment, I read it, now what? So I, I do have very, very thick skin. I've grown into having thick skin and I'm thankful that I have thick skin now because if someone says something to my face now, like I, I don't have a reaction. Like bitch, I read that shit all the time, every day on my timeline, on my Instagram, on my Twitter, on my YouTube, I just don't care. It doesn't affect me at all whatsoever. Just the other day, uh, somebody posted on one of my Instagram pictures that um, I, I shape bad. My my body shape is bad, and I'm like, no, it's not, bitch. Bitch, I am shaped like a goddess. You could only wish. You could only wish. Like you could say whatever you want about my looks. You could tell me I'm an ugly bitch without makeup and with makeup. You could tell me my makeup skills is ugly, whatever. But I think I'm pretty. You know what I'm saying? I think that I love my body. I love the way that I'm shaped. I love my boobies. I like my butt. I like my stomach. I like my thighs. There's nothing wrong with anything on my body. I like the way I do my makeup. I like the way I do my hair. There's nothing you can say to make me think that my body is shaped bad. There's nothing that you can say to make me think that I'm ugly. There's nothing you can say to make me think that my hair looks bad. There's nothing you can say that make to make me think that I dress bad. Like, I don't, that's your opinion. You're allowed to have it. And my opinion is the opposite of your opinion so therefore it doesn't affect me there's times where i'm scrolling through my instagram and i might be like well i don't like her shoes with that skirt you think she give a damn she's still gonna wear that she still wore it she still took a picture she took a picture that means she likes it so why does my opinion matter it don't so other people's opinions or other people trying to drag me or other people trying to say negative things about me like it literally goes through one ear comes out the other and i continue on with my day it doesn't affect me anymore it used to big time nowadays i literally don't care it does not bother me whatsoever if anything it makes me laugh because i'm like this bitch really made a whole fake account on twitter you know how many steps you have to go through to make a new twitter account shit bitch i'm popping if you ain't got no haters you ain't popping listen the day i'm gonna be real scared is when people aren't hating on me because that means i ain't nobody i ain't nobody gives a damn they don't even care enough to make a fake account and cuss me and talk about what I look like or what I do or my voice or whatever. That's the day I'm going to start panicking. For real. But the more haters I got, that means I'm, I'm up. I'm up, bitch. And if you got a problem with me, 
if you got a problem with me, yeah, listen, if you got a problem with me, shimmy shimmy, unfollow bitch. And now the last assumption was a comment. This wasn't a part of the assumption tag. This was just a comment that I read on my vlogging channel on my most recent Say Yes to the Dress vlog, okay? Someone commented and said something along the lines of, how come you can buy Fashion Nova every other week, but you can't fly your grandma out for your wedding? Mind you, a ticket from New York to Toronto is $160, but my, my grandmother offered to pay for my $7,000 wedding dress. So make that make sense, you idiots. You idiots. You stupid. You're dumb. And the reason why that upset me is because I never told anyone the reason why my grandma can't come to my wedding. I never explained it because it doesn't need to be explained because it's no one else's business, okay? It has nothing to do with money. And if you listen when I speak, you would know that I said my grandma offered to pay for my $7,000 wedding dress. If she has $7,000, why doesn't she have $160 to fly to Canada? So obviously that's not the reason, right? You gotta make sense before you speak. You gotta make sense before you talk. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life.